learn how we use data validator that is available in the Pentaho data integration. So let me create first a sample a transformation here. So for this demonstration purpose, I will not be connecting to any kind of database or any flat file. I, I have an option to edit the data here itself. So we call it as a data grid. So in this data grid, you can uh, create your own uh, uh, temporary data and that is available for your uh, spoon. So I have created a new transformation. Let me drag uh, data grid here and I will be demonstrating how data validator will work. Double click data grid step to get into workspace and I will edit this. I'm editing sample data here. So I'm adding, uh, I'm adding one more column over here, just a boolean value kind of thing. So this is to check uh, uh, allowed values uh, in the data validator step. Okay. This is my sample data. I'm having product ID and name price along with this data. So now we will see data validator how we can validate data. So click OK here and then I will drag now data validator. You can press in the steps search box. You can type in the name of the step and it will be filtered out. Double click so the hop will connect automatically from data grid to data validator so if you open this so let's double click here nothing is available just click on new validation in order to add a validation criteria here so I will say uh, validate On this so that the uh, options will be available so if you see here validation description valid status name of the field to validate so select which field you want to validate I'm in my case I'm, I'm going to validate check status and error code error description if you want to provide anything you can provide and uh, here data type mine is like string you have to select this otherwise it will throw error and I will not select conversion mark decimal symbol group symbol nothing so null allowed yeah null allowed if it is check means so any null values in this check status column will be passed to the next step so now here what i will do allowed values okay allowed values i will add a new 
load value just shipped. so now only the values okay shipped that are available in this particular uh, status column will be passed to the next step otherwise it will be triggered to error now click ok here and then let me drag two dummy steps into my workspace is for the data which is satisfying this condition and other one is for those uh, not satisfying the condition that we have set so we have mentioned allowed values so if you see here main output stop main output of this step and other side okay no need let's go to here this is error handling step copy you should always select copy so now I will just save this transformation and run it. Let's see what will happen. Data validator. Okay. The transformation has been saved. Now I will try to run this. here there is a preview data option right select the particular step and then click on the preview data so if you see shipped and shipped whatever the status that is got shipped won't be allowed to the next step and if you see it is error handling kind of thing so where check status is cancelled because we haven't defined this cancelled state in the data validator so that's why this data has been filtered out to this step so similarly let me explain you what kind of data validations that you can put here so null allowed if you uncheck this null values will not be allowed okay and if you check this other option only null values allowed so if you get any data so it will not be processed to the next step and then other other checks you have in data validator max string length so say for example in my check status if i set it some length over here so if if that is meeting here max string length should be some value say for example if i set it 10 that max string length 10 only if it is 12 or 13 it will be redirected to error and minimum string length if i set it to 5 what will happen if less than 5 then it will be redirected to error out and the same way maximum value minimum value for example price i have set it so maximum value if it is kind of uh, 10,000 i have set it and the value will be 20,000 and 30,000 so it will not be allowed same way minimum value if i set it some value like 5000 so all the records less than 5000 will not be moved to next step and it will be redirected to error the same way expected start string expected end string so the string what needs to be end with or what needs to be start with you can set this option and also not allowed and not allowed end string the same way this is opposite to this expected start string and expected end string and if you come here just now we have used yeah regular expression also available you can see you can set the regular expression what expected to match and what not allowed to okay and then allowed values yeah you can add it here what values to be allowed if if other than these values declared here so those will be redirected to error output and you have one more option here so rather than defining allowed values over here like you keep on adding here right if you have uh, 10 columns it's okay sorry 10 values it's okay if you have a uh, 100 or 200 then better you can define you can read it from another step okay you select which step okay if you if you check this option what will happen this gets disabled and this option will be enabled now steps to read from and field to read from so all these values can be declared from these steps so you can connect one more step to this particular data validator step so in that case it will be able to read data from other value okay other step so this is about uh, data validator and you can add uh, number of validations over here so just click on new validation 
and then add a new name for your uh, validation and you can continue with the declaring all these properties it depends upon your requirement so hope this helps you to define a data validation uh, data validation for your uh, data uh, please do subscribe keep watching thank you very much